it's Thursday, uh, the fourth day of our first week of homeschooling, and um, we did a lot more math and more language arts, um, vocabulary, uh, a spelling, quick spelling test, um, literature and comprehension, handwriting, all of those. Um, Kellen. Kellen was a little too wiggly during literature and comprehension, and he wasn't listening, and he wasn't paying attention, and he started crying because he said he couldn't do it, and, you know, um, I have to balance actually making him listen and do the lesson with, uh, with his sensory processing disorder, um, so, I don't know, um, he does the same thing like in handwriting he's like oh I can't do that and he'll start to go to tears and then I'll show him a second time how to do it and then he'll do it and he'll be fine so uh, so it's a little, it's a tiny bit frustrating um, I think I'm just a little bit more tired today than normal and the reading thing was very very frustrating um, on the other hand our science lesson was all about um, learning to measure stuff. Poppy's coming in the picture again. Uh, so we learned how to measure things in centimeters and then we learned how to measure things um, in grams using a balance and the balance was a huge hit. He loved using the balance and putting things in it and um, making it even out and stuff like that. So um, I think science is going to be a huge hit which I kind of already knew. Um, in vocabulary, he's been learning about weather words, and um, one of the weather words today was fog, and so uh, he was last asking more questions about fog. So during lunchtime, we watched videos on YouTube explaining fog and the different types of fog and why it happens and that kind of thing, and he really enjoyed that as well. So I, I like the ability to... Um, review something further that's in his interest um, I feel I feel like it it um, enhances the lesson and so um, so that's a nice feature um, so Kellen's doing geology and I've asked his grandmother who does jewelry and uses like slabs and stuff to make jewelry and make cabochons and stuff like that. I've asked if she wants to do a guest lecture on a Monday. Uh, she can't do it this Monday, but she's going to get back to me next week and see if she can do a guest lecture. So that will be fun for him. Um, we have an Alexa show video conferencing thing, so, and she does as well, so we can she can call us and she can talk to him about geology um, and it also gives him a chance to catch up with his grandmother uh, since they've moved to Tennessee so tomorrow is our last day this week um, I've been looking at what we have to do in the curriculum versus the days that were available in the year and stuff and it looks like Wednesday Thursday and Friday are gonna be pretty close to normal type school days and then um, Monday and Tuesday on Mondays it'll be a, a little less because on Mondays I have a standing appointment and Kellen has swim at 430 and in order to get there we have to leave at 330 and on Tuesdays Kellen has his occupational therapy and we're gonna go with the play group um, now I like the fact that I can change this because apparently the playgroup has field trips and things like that that he might be interested in so it's going to be a I think it's going to be an ever constant ever fluid thing it's never going to be exactly the same thing but it's kind of good for a kid like Kellen because that means that it's not going to be boring that's for sure um, so that was today and I'm kind of glad that tomorrow uh, is Friday <laughs> Because I'm kind of tired, but then we have a really full weekend too, so Monday is going to be a challenge, but we'll see what happens tomorrow.